Hey everyone, this is Jay Clark over here at Fargo 3D Printing. Today I'll be showing you how to replace your belt clip on a MakerBot Replicator 5th Gen. Be sure your machine is turned off, cooled down, and unplugged before proceeding. The tools that will be required are a screwdriver with torque bit, a hex key, a flat bit, pliers, and the belt clip. First we will turn the machine around so we can better access the extruder carriage. Push the carriage to the middle of the gantry towards the front as shown. This will allow enough space to get the screwdriver into place. Locate the two torque screws on both sides of the carriage. Unscrew the screws fully and set aside. Turn the printer back around and push the gantry towards the back by placing your fingers on the x-axis linear rail bracket. From here, pull the carriage straight off the metal bracket. Do not pull down as this could damage your carriage. Now we will tip the printer on its back. Do so by holding both sides of the printer and tipping it backwards. Do not drop the printer as this could cause unwanted damage. From this angle, we will take our hex key and loosen the four screws holding the metal bracket onto the linear rail. Once all four screws are out, tilt the bracket down to reveal the belt clip. Note the clip's orientation at this time. Use the flat screwdriver bit to pry off the snap fit on the belt as shown. Some versions of the 5th gen will have the belts glued into the clip where others will have them simply sitting in. If yours is glued in, we recommend using a hairdryer or heat gun on the low setting to warm up the clip and the glue in order for it to release. This will ensure that the belt itself does not tear. In the case of this video, the glue was already broken but still had some slight residue on the belt, hence why we did not use heat. At this point in the process, you may add a dab or two of super glue to the belt clip. For this video, we did not include this step. Just ensure that the glue does not cure before inserting the belts. Now obtain the new belt clip and orient it in the same fashion as the old clip. Insert one side of the clip so the belt end is just before the last tooth in the clip. Ensure that the teeth of the belt are matching the teeth of the clip as shown. The next part will require some force. Ensuring that the belt is not twisted, use your hand or small pliers to pull the belt towards the center of the clip. We want the belt to be taut so there is only a little bit of wiggle in the belt. After the clip has been fully seated, grab the metal bracket and insert one side of it into the clip's snap fit. Press down firmly to seat the bracket against the clip until you hear a click. Move the linear bearing into place behind the metal bracket. Insert one of the screws and tighten. Alternate inserting the screws to ensure that the bracket gets seated correctly. Tip the printer back on its feet and turn it around so the back is facing you. Set the carriage onto the metal bracket by aligning the slots in the carriage with the overhangs on the bracket. Insert the torque screws and tighten snugly. Ensure that the ribbon cable is not twisted. If it is twisted, reattach the carriage. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those down below. Otherwise, for Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jay Clark. Make sure you get printing, stay printing, and change the world.